Well, spices and condiments maker McCormick hitting a new 52 week low today despite beating third quarter profit estimates. The company announcing plans to implement cost increases by the end of the year as inflation continues to wreak havoc on the food industry. But these jumps in price is not stopping food entrepreneur Daniel Lubetsky from launching his latest project, Somos. The new plant based Mexican brand is going to focus on bringing authentic Mexican cuisine to American households. This will start in January of 2022. Joining us now is the billionaire investor and founder of the kind brand himself, Daniel. Welcome back to the show. It's good to see you. Thank you, Cheryl. Nice to be with you. So you're, you know, it's interesting. We were just talking about inflation a few moments ago with our traders and our floor show, and you are launching this new brand in the middle of a pretty inflationary cycle when it comes to the U.S. consumer and also to uh, the bottleneck that we've seen with the supply chains around the world. So are you still on track for January? We are, we are on track for January, but you're completely right. There's no glass bottles. There is a bunch of challenges in companies that we are seed investors in. And, uh, you know, we're the little guys, so we know how to be resourceful and nimble. But the issues with uh, freight from China are, have you know, I do some Shark Tank investing, and there's companies that are, like, a year behind. And, you know, it should provide us a little bit of opportunity for U.S. manufacturing to be strengthened. But I, I think the issue is real. Uh, I, I want to get to the products in a second, but you're launching this with two uh, former kind executives. So you've got your, your team in place. I'm assuming that that uh, would be a good thing as far as you know strategic vision and how you all work with each other. At the same time, you know there's some other big names out there. There's Ortega, there's uh, El Paso. There's a lot of uh, established Mexican brands out there. How are you going to differentiate yourself in all of this? Well, yes, I'm uh, partnering with Miguel Leal and Rodrigo Zuluaga, who were our head of marketing and our head of new product development. And above all, they're just so much fun to work with. We're always laughing around a lot where we're working together with the entire kind team. And that's the same culture we're bringing to Somos to take care of ourselves not so seriously and have fun. And we're super excited about bringing authentic Mexican food because all the other brands that exist out there, they're good brands, but they're not really Mexican. They're more like Calmex or Telmex. Almost everything that people associate with Mexican food doesn't exist in Mexico. Like those fluorescent yellow hard shell tortillas, I had never seen them when I lived in Mexico City. When I immigrated <laughs> to San Antonio, Texas when I was 16, I was fascinated to see a bunch of things that really don't exist in Mexico. And we're really committed to elevate the experience and give people real uh, options. The restaurant scene is like 20 years ahead. So if you go to some authentic Mexican restaurants across America, you'll be able to get a better feel for what's real Mexican food. But consumers don't currently have those choices at home. Well, there's no meat, there's no gluten. And, you know, I think what's interesting is you're kind of taking what you did with the Kind Bar, because for those people that eat whole, uh, whole foods, they don't want to eat processed food or maybe just minimally processed foods. The Kind Bar has become a very popular option for them. And, and I say myself included, when I met you here at Fox a couple of years ago, I thought I was meeting a celebrity because you, inter you uh, created the Kind Bar. But again, th it's become a crowded market. Well, the Kind Bar obviously revolutionized that space and we continue to try to do everything we can to bring people options across the world to try to give tens of millions of people more options for healthy snacks that with ingredients you can see and pronounce. And you're right, there is a parallel with simplicity of ingredients. There's a parallel with uh, a commitment to try to give people healthful but delicious foods. Uh, but they're obviously very different kind. We try to give you convenience on the go and a lot of breakfast occasions. And what we try to do with my partners at Somos is to try to give you authentic Mexican food that you can get ready, but you do need to cook it within five or 10 minutes. Please come back in, in January. We'd love to, to be here for the launch. I'm sure Liz would love to talk to you as well. Daniel Lubetsky. Daniel, thank you very much. It's good to see you. Thank you, Sean. Thanks to everybody. All right.